Hello, this is Ramon with Open Labs Technical Support, and today I'm going to show you how to use Open Labs Music OS to control your DAW. The DAW that we will be controlling today will be Ableton. So the first thing I'm going to do is load Ableton. Just going to load Ableton Live here. All right. And as soon as you load Ableton, you can go ahead and minimize this and then launch Music OS. Launching Music OS second will allow Ableton to pick it up as a rewire client. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here. And we can see here that it is a rewire slave. And I'm going to go ahead and just for now, I'm just going to open up an empty instrument track and go over to live controls. On the Live Controls page, we can just right-click anywhere on this grid and add a control. And change its size, move it around, and even give it a custom color. All right. Once you have the knob you want, you can go to our Control menu and go to MIDI CC Output. This is very important. This is going to be the MIDI information that Music OS sends Ableton. So I'm going to go to no output here, and I'm just going to put this on a nice neutral CC, like, I don't know, 80. Press OK. And then hit the Edit button here so I can start moving this knob. I'm just going to use Alt-Tab on my typing keyboard to hop over to Live. And I'm just going to put something in to Control. From now I'm going to go to a Set. All right. And you're going to be mapping these live controls the same way you would map a standard control in Ableton Live. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the MIDI button up here. Go to my filter. Click that. And I'm going to Alt-Tab again to get back to Music OS and move that knob. Alt-Tab again. We're going to see here that we have um, MIDI channel 1, CC80. So that is latched. I just have a simple bass tone loaded on this track. I'm going to Alt-Tab over again. This, of course, gets a lot quicker once you have all your stuff mapped out. And I'm just going to play a bass tone here. And we can hear that modulating our bass tone. One really cool thing about live controls is not only can we use this as a knob manually and with the touch screen, of course, we can set this up to oscillate. Go to oscillator type here and set up a sine wave os oscillation. We can see that moving there. All right, and we can see that there. And when we type Alt Tab back over, we can see that physically modulating the control. Excellent. And that's the basic setup. And of course, we can go over and we can set up as many of these controls as we want to. We have knobs, buttons, XY pads, and sliders. OK, and for each one of these, you would go through the same process. You can go in, go to each control, Go to your control menu and set up your MIDI CC output so the messages can get over to Ableton. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and load up something that we have made here in-house to control Ableton. I'm going to go to the MOS Ableton control map. I don't want to save anything and load that up. Now here, what I have going on is a separate song for a mixer, device rack, and I have a set of XY pads and a set of Xonable controls. I'm just going to go to Live Controls here and go to Song List and pull up our mixer. In our mixer, we have all these set up to control the parameters in Ableton right off the bat. We're doing this by taking advantage of the Open Labs control surface that is built into Ableton. So um, whether you're using an Open Labs unit like I'm using right now or 
the PC, when you install Music OS, it's going to populate these Open Labs MIDI drivers. And I just chose one of these MIDI drivers here and turned it on track and remote, so all my information is being sent over. And in the control surfaces section, I went ahead and chose Open Labs and told it to input from the Open Labs MIDI driver I selected here. So now I can go back over to Music OS, and this is my interface for Ableton Live. I can use my play feature here and start my beat playing, turn that on and off with the Ableton style on off button, and adjust the volume. Okay, back over to Ableton for a second. You can also take advantage of our device racks inside of Ableton. So I'm just going to drop one of Ableton's native effects on here for now. Just drop on the auto filter. And as long as you see that blue hand there, you can just go right back to Music OS. Play. I'm going to go over to my device rack. And that's already mapped out. Okay, so that's all mapped out. Another neat feature that we have built into this particular map, and of course, you can set this up however you want to. It's completely customizable. If we have multiple devices, even on multiple tracks, we can assign a device to quickly bring it in focus, so we don't even have to go back to Ableton Live's menu to modulate two different devices. What I'm going to do in Ableton now is I'm going to go ahead and hit this MIDI button. I'm going to click right here on, on AutoFilter's name, go back over to Music OS, and go to my device rack. And I have these device assign buttons here. I can just go ahead and click that over and go back to Ableton. And there is that MIDI channel and CC number. I'm also going to go over to my Dimension LE track and do the same thing with the AutoFilter here. I'm going to click here, back to Music OS and assign it to number two. All right. Turn the MIDI mode off. Now, back in Music OS, I have control over both of those tracks now. I'm going to go in, go back to my mixer. We also have scene up and down buttons. I'm going to go ahead and play my whole scene, which is going to trigger my bass line and my beat and a little string section there. I'm going to go ahead and turn those down so they don't blast us when they come up. Okay. So I'm controlling all my tracks here. I'm going to go back to my device rack. There's my bass control. This allows you to really take a, a more complex Ableton Live set and kind of condense it down into only the controls you need. So on this set, so far I've just gone over the mixer section and the device rack. But we can really just keep going with this in Music OS. Like I've already set up a set of assignable controls that aren't pre-mapped to anything at all. So I can go in to Ableton here again. Go to my VST track here and start just assigning controls to my VST. Hit the Configure button and Live. And start bringing up controls for that. I'll bring over the filter. I'll bring over the Delay On and the Delay Dry Wet there for this VST. 
close that out and I will have those parameters here in live to play with. Go back to my MIDI mode. I'm going to go to delay on off. Go back over to MIDI OS. Music OS, sorry. Click that button. And just go ahead and assign all these. All right, get those assigned right back there. Now, still just from Music OS, go to my mixer, play my track. <laughs> make as many pages of controls as you want in here and they'll be on your list. I also have some XY pads going on there. And we can even modify the pages that are already in there. Like if we want to be able to just launch individual clips, like I have several drum beats up there. I'm just going to go ahead and add those buttons on the fly. Just going to add a button there. Go to my control map, maybe CC output. Fourteen. Pick an odd MIDI channel. There's probably not in use. MIDI channel five. The if if you end up getting this map, five channel five should be free for most MIDI CCs. So I'm just going to press OK for that, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy. Copy and paste that a couple times. Kind of move these around, put them in order. Go back to edit. And I'm just going to quickly change. Macy sees here, kind of showing you the workflow of how this would work if you're building your set. As you can see, it's really quick and easy to set these buttons up and get them all going. Now I have, oops, the help of actually picked a new MIDI CC. Another cool thing about this, you can clearly see all of your MIDI CC values here. So you can see if you're going to be assigning something to a MIDI CC that's going to interfere with something that's already built into the preset you're using or something that you've assigned yourself. You can quickly be able to see that until. So now that I have these buttons, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Ableton again, go back to my little friend, the MIDI button here. And I can assign each one of these buttons I just made to a different beat variation. All right, and there we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn the MIDI, MIDI sync section off here, back here. basic overview of what you can do with Music OS and Ableton together. Um, and I will make this map available on the Open Labs user forum for all of our customers. So you can download this and modify it and use it for your live sets. Thank you for watching this little tutorial. Hope to see you again. Bye.